hello people welcome back to my youtube channel today still in eight to five job or still talking about eight to five job let's answer these questions why are you quitting your eight to five job when is the best time to quit your eight to five job how are you going to quit the job and where to after quitting your job where are you going to go So to the questions, why are you quitting the job? Some people may have stayed for a very long time working in an institution or in a place where they've worked for a very long period of time, yet there is no positive change in their, in their life. So they don't have any positive change in their life. So when it comes to this time when you feel like you've worked for a long period of time and yet your life is still the same, or your life is still in the same way. It's good to think of quitting and find something else or something better for you to do. That's all change. You're supposed to have a positive change when you're working somewhere or when you're working in a place. You're supposed to see yourself grow. You're not supposed to remain the same way. You entered the same place when you started your job and when you've worked for that long. So sometimes you also feel like you have some potential that is not being used. You feel like you are underutilized. So when this time comes, it's also a good, uh, it's good uh, answer to why you should quit. So you find that uh, you have a lot of potential, but you feel like you are underutilized. And this potential, you know there is somewhere you can use it better. And be a better person this is on why so maybe you feel there's no positive change in your life that's a why you should quit maybe you feel you have the potential but it's being underutilized and you know somewhere you can utilize your potential or you can use it better that's another answer to why sorry it's another answer to why or sometimes you even feel you have some skills that you can use somewhere else and maybe get something better out of it especially when you're talking of finances terms maybe you need more money and you have some skills that you feel like you can use them somewhere and get something better for you to uh, when you feel like you have you can use the skills to do something better than what you're doing and it's, it's still going to give you maybe the same amount of money or even more better amount of money a better amount of cash for you to move on with your life and the last why is about uh, those people who work in toxic working environment conditions so you find that you don't love your job every time you wake up in the morning you're going to your job you regret or you find you're sad every time you're going every time you leave the job you're so happy the day has ended then there's another day tomorrow you feel so sad when you're going back there and maybe even the people you're working with they're so toxic you find that the environment is so toxic it's not a good environment for you to be in even after working for a very long period of time things change and environment also changes so you find that maybe it's so toxic that's another why you should be so in summary there is no positive change in your life you have the potential but it's being underutilized 
you have some skills that you can use more better outside there other than what you're doing and it's going to generate more income and lastly maybe the environment is so toxic so you find out that you cannot be able to work well in that environment and maybe you have something else you can do better outside there those are my whys why are you supposed to be in the same place so go ahead and act as you go to your new environment and enjoy everything that you'll be doing outside there the next question is when when are you supposed to leave so sometimes uh some people are going to quit and go to do something different or they're going to have a good plan of where they're going so we're going to come to where to but before that when are you supposed to leave so one is when your savings are enough or once you calculate and do your math and see that you have saved a lot of money or you have saved enough money that can take you to the next position or it can take you to your next plan or it can even execute and initiate the, the next plan that you have in your life. So when the savings are enough, that's a when, when you should leave or when you should quit or resign your job. Maybe sometimes it becomes uh, the environment or the working conditions becomes too toxic for you to work there so sometimes it's not even maybe you find that your savings are not enough but you cannot do any more you can't work any more in that environment so you find it's too toxic you don't have even peace of mind to work you cannot work best best in that environment that's another when it's time for you to quit that is when the environment is too toxic you can't hold anymore or you can't be able to work in that environment condition the other one is maybe you are uh, you feel like you want to do something else or something different for self-improvement so you want to maybe use your skills you're going to use your skills for self-improvement as long as you're going to get some money. so for when self-improvement for positive change so you want to improve yourself you want your life to change then you can answer the when with you're quitting for self-improvement then lastly it's time when it's time to use your skills so when it comes to time for you using your skills and you feel it's the right time for you to use the skills there's somewhere you can use your skills better and earn the amount of money that you're looking forward to then that's another when so in summary for when or answering for me answering the question when you're supposed to quit one it's when your savings are enough to make you go to the to your next plan or to which can make you initiate your next plan the other one is the environment is too toxic you can't hold anymore you can't work in the same environment anymore you find out that or you find another way or you're going to find somewhere else that you can work better and you can be happy happiness is everything you're supposed to find your happiness when you're working when you're doing everything that you're doing in your life to make your life better then the other one is for self-improvement for positive change for you to attain the positive change that was in our question why then it comes to when so you have to look at self-improvement for positive change and lastly it's time to use your skills when you feel it's the right time that you have already acquired the skills that you needed uh, or that you need to take you to the next step or to your next job then that is a good answer to when then the next question is how how are you going to quit your job or to resign your job so if you have a very professional job or an official one the best way of Quitting your job is resigning or writing a resignation letter just according to the platform that you guys use in your institutions. So there are those who use emails, there are those who are going to use maybe maybe even the social media platforms. You never know. So the institutions differ. And uh, others are going to use the normal letter, the writing, the normal writing of the letter. So you can write the letter and... Uh, just take it to the administration or to uh, the person who is supposed to go uh, to your boss that is and uh, that's a good uh, way of uh, resigning 
or writing the letter so that's a good way of taking you to the next step so if uh, your job is casual or that is uh, it does not have uh, the, or you don't follow you don't necessarily follow the formalities of uh, professionalism in uh, or your job is just casual let's talk of it's casual that is maybe you just uh, go uh, daily or you're paid weekly or or your job is not maybe official so official you guys get what i'm trying to explain so you find that your job is not so official so you can talk to your boss you can just go talk to your boss and uh, just give a reason of resigning or just talk with him or her and explain some few things and you're going to get your way out anyway at the end of it all if you're dedicated to move out so you're going to get your way out and some people are going to be employed in contract basis so this is where you renew your contracts after some uh, time so maybe a near time maybe a six months time or even two years time or even whatever duration you work with so in uh, such terms you have to be very patient so that you can be able to wait for uh, the end of the contract and when you the other people are going to renew their contract you just make sure that you don't renew yours that is also another way of resigning those are my three hows or how your the how or answering my question on to how how i'm going or how you're supposed to uh to quit or resign your job so one is through a resignation letter the other one is you can talk to your boss so so away and uh Lastly, for those people who work with contracts, you just make sure you don't renew your contract. That is also another way of resigning. Let's go to our last question, which we're going to answer where to. So after answering the question of why are you quitting? When is the best time for you to quit? How are you going to quit your job? Then where to? Where are you going after quitting your job? So one is some people are going to quit their jobs to go for business or they want to become entrepreneurs they want to be their own boss they have worked for long so they need to be they feel that there is that urge for one to be uh, his or her own boss it's so good it's a good thing to be your own boss because you control everything in your business you start and it's good you start you just start from whatever you want or whatever point you start the only point to note is that you just make sure you grow. That's the best thing about business. So you grow together with your business. As your business is growing, you also grow. So uh, the only things you consider when you're going to business is whether you have enough capital to start your business. Capital is more, more, not mostly a problem because you can get it from different sources even if you didn't have an enough saving because when we talk of maybe the environment was too so uh, in our when where, where where we talk about the environment was too toxic for you to work maybe you, you had not enough you had not saved enough for you to move maybe you are waiting uh, you are trying to squeeze yourself and uh, make yourself a bit comfortable there in which you were not and uh, you are trying to save as much as you could so that uh, or to get your target your saving target so that you can move out then you find out, out that the environment has become too toxic you can't do anymore or you can't work uh, in that place anymore so in in such an uh, uh, in such a situation you can be able to find other sources of capital to add to whatever savings you had so that you can go for business or that is when you're going for to start your own business so the only things you need to have is patience in business because when once you start a business you don't get returns there and then so most of the business are going to require a lot of patience and uh, the other one is good customer relations you have to relate well with your customers you have to treat them well so that they can be able to come back next time so that is good customer relations you have to relate well with the people who are you are serving and uh, even the people you are going to employ now you're going to become a boss so you have to have you need to have good leadership skills for those people who you are going to employ so that your relationship with your uh, the people you employ and your customers is go also going to be good for you to uh for your business to be a better place or 
for for you to get a good business uh business of our uh, ones uh, for you to do well in business for you to do well in business so those are the things that you're supposed uh, to look at so you be patient when you're doing business or once you're starting a business it you go you take a risk because it's all about taking the risk you're not supposed to be afraid of the risk outside there take the risk once you don't make it you can try another time and you can be better you make sure you correct the mistakes that you had there before then you relate well with your customers that is on business so that is where to those people who are quitting their jobs to go for business that's a good move you go and uh, do your best outside there the other one is uh, there are people who are going to uh, quit to go to go to their personal we call them personal projects so this is a person who is not going to be employed anymore. This is a person who is not going to do maybe something to do with business, but they are going to have their personal uh, their personal projects that are going to generate some money. And uh, they are going to be so much dedicated to those projects. What they need is a lot of research. They have to have done a lot of research on those uh, personal projects that they are investing in or they are going to uh, go to and uh, they have a good plan that's all so you can quit your job and go do your personal projects uh if there so we cannot categorize you as a business person or an entrepreneur but also we cannot say that you're not working you're going to work under your terms you're going to get uh, the money that you look forward to and you're going to uh, the rules and the regulations of whatever you're doing is going to change as per you that is personal projects so that is that is that personal projects that is another way to so quitting your job to go to do some personal projects so most of these personal projects are going to also involve some people being employed you can also create a uh, job opportunities when you're there and also you're going to be above somewhere although the, you have to be so much dedicated when you're dealing with your personal projects because everything depends on you that's why it's called personal so it everything is going to depend on you good decisions good returns bad decisions poor returns which are going to cost you a lot so that is personal projects ask three there are those people who are going to uh to quit their jobs the last where to is they're going to quit their jobs or resign and uh, get uh, or go for an early retirement plan. It's not necessary for you to be 60 or 65 years of age for you to get a retirement plan, especially when you're working in uh, private institutions. You can quit as uh, whatever time you want or whatever, yeah, whatever time you want and get a retirement or early retirement. So when you're going for an early retirement, there are some things to consider. Number one, you have a lot of savings that are going to take care of you and uh, they can sustain you for the rest of your lifetime. You have investments. So when we talk of early retirement, you need to have a lot of savings and investment. And when we talk of investments, they have to be long-term investments, which are going to give you returns for the rest of your lifetime because we don't expect uh, you to be working when you're in your early retirement so you just go relax and uh, have a good life out there it's very possible especially when you have early retirement when you have uh, when you go for early retirement and you have uh, long-term investments very good investments that are going to give you returns we're going to talk about investment later in some videos i'm going to upload some videos on investment later but before that so there are those people who quit to go for early retirement you can even go for early retirement when you are as young as 35 you are 30. so depending on what amount of money you saved or savings you have then what amount of investment you have if they can sustain you for a long uh, for the rest of your lifetime then I don't see why you should not quit and go for early retirement. So my three whys or where to, not why, sorry, where to 
is one you're quitting to go to start a business to or to go and be your own boss for entrepreneurship number two you have your you're quitting to go for your personal uh projects you have some projects that you have to do that we have to rely on you or you have to rely on them as well and three you're either quitting or resigning your job to go for your early retirement those are the answers to my thank you so much for watching my videos do not forget to subscribe like share and comment see you when you see me again in my next video bye